Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Today I'm going to talk about Credit Karma Tax. Yes, that's right. I said Credit Karma Tax. Credit Karma Tax allows you to file your taxes for free online or via the Credit Karma app. Credit Karma allows you to file your taxes with the same company that allows you to check your credit score, that also recently announced its own high yield savings account, which I did a review of recently. And now you can file your taxes online for free. Now, Credit Karma isn't the only option that you have in order to file taxes for free. You can file for free on the IRS website. You can also file for free via one of the TurboTax platforms. But there are a few differences when you compare Credit Karma Tax versus the free edition of TurboTax. And so I'm going to talk about those differences in this video. So of course, if you have a simple tax situation where all you have is your W-2 income, maybe children that you need to claim or basic tax deductions, then you can definitely use Credit Karma Tax for your tax situation. But there are certain forms that they do accept and that they don't accept. So for example, Credit Karma Tax does accept traditional 1099s like the 1099 INT, which is where you would receive your interest statements if you have a lot of interest earned through your savings accounts. And there's also the 1099 that you would receive if you sold any stock over the past year. There's a 1099C if you have any debt that was canceled. And then there's the 1099 MISC, M-I-S-C, which is miscellaneous income where it's not the same as your W-2 income. So if you're an independent contractor, you may receive a 1099 from a business that you worked for or perhaps an individual that you worked for and they paid you where you weren't the actual employee. So basic 1099s like that, those are forms that Credit Karma Tax can accept as well. Other common tax forms would be the Schedule A for itemized deductions, Schedule C for reporting business profit or loss, the Schedule 8812, which is for claiming the child tax credit, and the Schedule EIC, which is for claiming the earned income credit. Now, there are other forms that are accepted as well. And then there are a list of forms that aren't supported via the Credit Karma tax platform. And I'll have a link in the description as well as in the comments below. That way, if there are any forms that you do need to use for your specific tax situation, you can make sure that it's not on that list so you'll know whether or not you can use the Credit Karma tax platform. Now, one of the things you typically don't get with the free platforms and even some of the paid editions of a TurboTax or maybe an H&R Block is audit defense. Now, with Credit Karma Tax, you actually receive free audit defense when you use their website to submit your taxes. But with TurboTax, even with their free edition, you did have to pay for audit defense in the past. But something really interesting happened between the time that I thought about making this video and when I actually recorded it, and that is that TurboTax is actually buying out Credit Karma. So TurboTax, whose parent company is Intuit, Intuit also owns Mint.com, the budgeting app, and they also own QuickBooks. So Intuit is really getting deep into the financial space as far as handling your taxes, handling your business expenses, handling your everyday personal expenses. And with the acquisition of Credit Karma, in addition to Credit Karma tax, you of course have your credit scores as well as your high yield savings account via the Credit Karma savings account. But as of right now, the acquisition hasn't been completed and it probably has to go through some sort of regulatory approval. But in the future, probably during next year's tax season, you may actually see TurboTax instead of the Credit Karma name. So I'll actually be interested to see if they keep the Credit Karma name since it is a very popular app, at least for the credit score portion, and to see if there are any differences or if they decide to completely integrate the Credit Karma tax platform with their TurboTax free edition. So at least for this year, you have about a month left in the year before tax time is over, before we reach that deadline in mid-April. So if you want to check out Credit Karma Tax Free Edition, I'll have a link in the description so you can sign up for Credit Karma Tax if that's something you're interested in. Of course, make sure you check out the link in the description to make sure there are certain forms that maybe you need to use that aren't available via the free Credit Karma Tax platform. If you've already used Credit Karma Tax in the past, be sure to leave a comment and let us know your experience using this platform. 
And of course, if you use both Credit Karma and TurboTax Free Edition, let us know which one you prefer and why. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate that. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.